Welcome to the coolest stuff on the planet. Matt. Yes. Why? What are you sleeping on the job? Uh, no. I was I was looking at some stuff I'd written down on the back of my eyelids earlier. Well, pay attention, kid. Man, I'm sorry. I'm just so out of it. We just did that whole fire drill thing, and I don't want to. Yeah, we had a little exercise in public safety, and uh, we had to uh, we had to follow a big crowd of people. And we moved very slowly. Ugh. If there was a fire, I think maybe perhaps I, we wouldn't be here right now. I, in fact, I know that for a fact. <laughs> in fact. That's an excellent example because that actually brings us right into our topic, which is da 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 da. Follow the crowd. And where are we gonna da 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 da? Follow the crowd in Masai Mara. And where's Masai Mara? Masai Mara is in a country called Kenya. Excellent. So we're talking about following the crowd, and in this case, we are talking about migration. Yes, we are. So people have always been nomads, wanderers, migrants, right? Yes, animals have From been the beginning. migrants. Because yeah. there, are, there are a certain amount of resources, and you gotta move to get those resources, because right. they don't come to you. If they did, that would be a lot easier. That's right, you wouldn't have to migrate. Like maybe farming. Oh, that's why we evolved. See, well, I was thinking more like the head. Home Shopping Network. Oh wow! But, um, oh my gosh! You know. and eBay, I guess at this point. But originally, we had to migrate, and people still do. Let's be honest. Mm-hmm. For um, so resources, like you said, mm-hmm. procreation purposes, like salmon. Yep. Also, pu- also protection, safety, which yep. is what yep. we just did. We yep. just exercised. Yes, absolutely. But the the reason why we're going to where we're going out in the Masai Mara is because of the wildebeest, or the gnu, or gnu. I like to say gnu. The gnu! Uh, Well, okay, so, but the reason why they're so interesting is because they basically have this giant circular migration. Right, and the Masai Mara is actually um, this big wildlife reserve in Kenya. It's about 590 square miles. Mm -hmm. And I don't know exactly how big that is, but it sounds big to me. Yeah, it's very big. Um, And actually, 1.5 million of these wildebeests migrate and they travel in herds of tens of thousands there's so many of them the sound of them actually as they're thundering through sounds like thunder so that's probably where that phrase came from what wow (laughs) that's wild that's like a wildebeest rock concert (laughs) it is wildebeest metal so they travel um they're they travel because of the seasons Yes. They're traveling they're traveling north to the Masai Mara because they're looking for they're following the rainfall yep, basically. Yep. So um, they're in Masai Mara between the months of July and October. So yeah, they travel they travel about 1500 kilometers, right? And uh, so that's their entire migration path is about 1500 kilometers, which is really close to it's about 1000 miles. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and they travel like maybe 19 kilometers a day. Which is about, what, 12 miles a day? Yes, about 12 miles. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a huge trek. Oh, here's the craziest thing. These things are born to migrate. Yeah. So literally, uh, they give birth while they migrate, right? So, mm-hmm. um, and this is the thing I want to ask you. Do you think they actually stop to give birth? Or do you think they just let it, they just go for it? It's like, there it goes. Whoops. I don't Catch know. up. Catch up, Billy. <laughs> well, from what I've, from what I've read, they, they kind of just do it as they go. There's no so, way. So you, I mean, you just give There's birth. There's Yeah, no, you give birth as you go. And apparently the babies, the little, the little bitty wildebeest um, can walk within about 15 minutes. That's crazy. So within, within 15 minutes of going, oh my gosh, this is existence. What's going on? Oh, my brain doesn't really understand. Oh, well, I guess I better run. Let's go. That's a serious learning curve That's right there. That's what happens inside their head. <laughs> Poor little things. They, they grow up too fast. Yeah, they do. <laughs> But anyway, um, the reason that they head for these for this this reserve is because uh, the Masai Mara is full of fertile grasslands. They get lots of rain. Yeah, and there's rivers that go through there, a um, bunch of lakes. So the Masai Mara. No. Yeah, yeah, it's a great place to go. Follow the crowd, get in a jeep, get behind those guys, or on the side, I guess would be best. See some animals, some beasts. Yep. Try not to get stuck in a in a river, and uh, find that water. Because it's your mission. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. And let us know what you think. Email travelpodcast at HowStuffWorks.com. Don't forget to check out our other podcasts free on iTunes. <laughs>